Hey guys, so I thought about typing up a post and um, for Facebook, Twitter, or Tumblr, or Tumblr, or however you pronounce it, um, but I decided to do a quick video, you know, because I didn't feel like getting up and pulling out the camera or shutting on the laptop, so I just decided to do it from my tablet, and while I'm in bed, some days I feel upset with myself and I feel as though that I should have done things differently years ago using protection you know thinking sometimes that you know I'm, I'm invincible and you know even though I have unprotected sex sometimes that it, it basically just think that I have a whole bunch of chances of not contracting anything <clears throat> but what I want to get to is taking medications. Tonight, when I walked in, you know, from work and from a gathering, it was around about, about 8.30ish, 9 o'clock. And I usually take my medication right before I get in the bed or around that time, regardless. And tonight, I just didn't feel like taking it. I really did not feel like taking my medicine, plus the other stuff to help keep my immune system together. And I know that my face doesn't look quite a bit the way it should be. It looks all grainy and whatnot, discombobulated. But I don't want to get to the point where I'll start to see changes within my body. Especially when I'm sick. I hate being sick. Because when I'm sick, I feel it. I feel it so bad to where it lasts about a whole month. It lasts a month. And some days when I wake up, I don't even think, you know, HIV is not in my mind when I first wake up. It's like, get you behind the bathroom, get ready for work, and be out the house in time for the train. Work. And some days, I don't even feel like I'm HIV positive. I feel so good. I feel well. And, you know, I'm, I'm happy to be alive and be able to feel the air and just be happy and smile and, you know, just live life and do for myself. But you have others who are waiting and waiting, who are basically dying because they're on a waiting list just to get coverage for their medications. My medication, one of them alone, is, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, close to $2,000 for um, a 30-day uh, supply. Almost $2,000. And I don't have that type of money. I have rent. I have other bills. I have things that I need to do. And plus... I don't want to be able to enjoy the money that I make. I don't. I can't obviously spend two thousand dollars a month on a thirty-day supply. I mean, if I really had to, at the time, I would have done it because my life is more important. I strive to live and I strive to do what I have to do. But for me to say that I don't want to take my medication, it makes me look bad because I try to. Tell people to stay healthy. Do what you have to do. Take your medications. If you don't even want to take it, just take it. Go to your doctor's appointments. You know, just tell them what to do. And sometimes I don't even follow what I say. And that's the God honest truth. So, for me to just say it out in the open like this, it really shows that I'm not the type of person that people really perceive me to be. You know, I'm not perfect. I'm not all stuck up and I'm not all perfect. Just, you know, what I have you perceived me, now you know. Straight up. I don't feel, at some days, I just don't feel like doing it. I don't. But I know the weather's getting colder and I have to make sure I dress appropriately for work and, or for, you know, just leaving out the house, periodly. Periodly. Period. <laughs> but it's, it, it gets so depressing some days. 
because I'm just I, I just missed those days where I didn't have to worry so much. I'm dealing with this for close to five years and going to be twenty five very soon, I didn't think that I'll be in a situation. I really didn't think I would be in a situation. So I did take the medication before I did the video. I wish I had a thought about, you know, taking it while doing the video so you can see. But I, I took, you know, the HIV medication, the vitamin, the immune system booster. I took all the other stuff, you know, because I have other complications like high, very high cholesterol and everything else. And, you know, my T cells is not where it should be. So with the immune system booster, it will help bring more defense to my system so I won't catch a cold or, you know, be more receptible to germs and everything else that would make me sick. So, you know, that's how I just, that's just how I felt. And I just hope that you understand and understood just a bit about how I feel for this moment. The rare moments that I do have about medications. But just don't put yourself in that situation.